Hello, David Zritsky for the Bond Experience. Welcome back. All right, you could tell by the thumbnail, you could tell by the outfit. We are back to No Time to Die. Did we ever really leave? I'm standing in front of the No Time to Die display, which is just swelled with lots of different things. I've got my Barton Pereiras right here. I'll put those on the side. They've come in very handy. I've got a little bit of winter growth. Don't let that intimidate you because we're back to Matera. And you could tell because we've got the Gabino, we've got the Connolly jacket, which, you know, I've got to tell you, in the, uh, in the spring and the summer, I really gravitated to it. It was that linen blend. It was very light. But there's been a search. You know, there's been a search for a long time for a lot of people of what Bond wears underneath the Gabino in Matera. And you see a lot of pictures of this, right? You saw a lot of paparazzi pictures way back then. There was a lot of speculation of what it was. And everybody was coveting it. And now, sometime later, it is public about what the brand is. This is what happens, these explosive moments. And yes, I'm even pairing it with the Massimo. I've got my uh, Drakes on because I want it to be in the whole environment that this outfit deserves because a lot of people gravitated to this outfit. Why? Well, I think we need to go back to the conversation that we had with Sidorat the costume designer for No Time to Die, where she really felt very motivated to take Bond out of his element because he's retired. He's supposed to be relaxed. He's, well, I, I don't want to say a honeymoon because nobody saw him get married, get married, but let's face it, he is canoodling, he's relaxing, he's on vacation, so he's dressing in his element, and he's dressing, I'll go so far as to say a little slouchy, a little more relaxed, and therefore this linen shirt by Anderson and Shepard is perfect. Yes, link is in the bio. It's available right now, 215 pounds, and you can have the shirt from No Time to Die. But that's not enough. I mean, this would be a, a, a two minute, 20 second video. We're gonna be talking a lot about this shirt. We're gonna be actually comparing it to a screen accurate shirt. Oh. Oh, well, where's this coming from? We're going to be talking about the feel and the function, but let's talk about some of the basics right off the bat. We're going to get up and close and personal because that's what we do. You can see this is 100% linen made in Italy. It's got two mother of pearl buttons right here. They're really fancy. They're really nice. By the way, Bond wears it with one button. We got to talk about screen accuracy. I like it with two. I like a little bit more of an open flap. I like a little bit of neckline. That's just how I roll. But you know what? For the sake of accuracy, let's do as Bond did in Matera. This right here, I want to talk to you a little bit about the story. It's always story time with David Zaretsky. I don't know why. Of how I picked this up. So um, when it became public that it was Andrew and Shepard, uh, Anderson and Shepard that made uh, the shirt, it made a lot of sense because Daniel Craig flocks to this brand. He's worn cardigans, he's worn Henleys, he's worn on press trips, he's worn it in personal lives, etc. And yes, he even wore this uh, raspberry fuchsia, however you want to say it, red carpet look that is also from Anderson Shepard. In fact, when we were there at Anderson and Shepard um, to go pick up this shirt, they brought out this big bolt of fabric and they showed us the very material it's made out of, thinner than you would expect. But that's not this video. We're talking about this. So here's what happened. When I went on the press junket for Universal, uh, I phoned a bunch of the brands and said, hey, I'm in town, love to stop by. They were like, come on in. And Anderson and Shepard were one of those brands. When you walk in, you're greeted by this warm fireplace and even warmer people. And, and there was a guy sitting at the front desk, and I kid you not, he goes, you're the guy. You're the guy, just like, just like Logan Ash. You're the guy. And yes, I was smiling way too much, just like Logan Ash. Who knew? So they immediately went in the back. They showed me their bespoke area. They showed me their custom area. Unbelievable, unbelievable brand, company, customer service. And the amount of pride, the amount of care they take into their craftsmanship, old world craftsmanship, is unbelievable. If you do get a chance to go visit them, again, link down below, go visit in them. They're very warm to uh, Bond fans and people that want to patronize and get to know their brand. But they immediately got me the shirt. 
I said, look, don't don't put the pomp and circumstance. I got to pack this into an overstuffed bag already. Stuffed it into my Globetrotter, and away I went. And the whole idea was to do a review when I came back, relaxed. All my journeys were done, and here I am around the holidays doing a review. So what they wanted to do is they had so much, so much of an outcry from the Bond community, especially the sartorial community, when their brand became known as Bond's shirt, that they wanted to replicate it. Now, the original shirt was a long sleeve Henley, just like this one, that was cut down. The sleeves were cut down. So they could have done one of two things. They could have sold you a long sleeve shirt and you'd have to take it to your tailor and everybody would be doing how to hemmings and things like that and how to get the short sleeve shirt and what size and meh. They said, let's, let's go one extra distance and get it as close to what Bond wore as possible. That's why they came up with this. Okay. Let's talk about feel. This is what we do. Um, first of all, the feel of this is amazing. There's linen, darling, and then there's linen. This is the latter. Almost a Vesper quote, but not quite. Uh, so the linen here is very soft. It's very combed. It's lattice. We're going to get up close. So you can see it's not see-through. Some people were concerned that it was like, you know, you just see everything. It's sheer, but it's not see-through. You're not going to have like stray hairs poking out. I've got some, you know, Connery hairs on my chest. They're not flying out of this linen. So don't be concerned. The sizing of this, because you got to talk about sizing when it comes to function. First of all, I am a 40-41 chest. I am a 31-inch waist. It is the holidays. Used to be a 30. Get back on it, David. Um, but this is a size small. And Anderson Shepard curated this size with me because this is the right size to get the Bond look. I know some of you out there are like, I like my shirts to be a little bit more, you know, um, not so form-fitting. I like them to be a little bit looser and squared in the body. Fine. So typically I would wear a medium in something like this. I'm wearing a small and it fits me correctly. Let's take a look at the side. You can see, don't slouch your shoulders, David. Just look straight ahead. All right, this is what we do here. All right, we're going to show you the back. Here's the back. Put my arms down. You can see the way it fits my back and I'm doing some movements. Um, why do we do this? Well, we do this because you need to get the right size. It's 215 pounds. Uh, it's an investment. It's the right investment, but you want to get a size that fits you. Also, this is the way it fits the bicep right here. I am making a muscle. I'm not trying to be vain. I'm just showing you what in a series of movements you're going to look like. This is what your chest is going to look like, but that's what Bond looked like. Now, important to state that I am not tall. I'm five foot nine, and you can see it's hemmed around here. It's not extremely tapered, okay? It's kind of straight fitting right here, but it is, as you can see, hemmed here below. It's not hemmed, I'm sorry. It's, it's actually ribbed, okay? And that's an important distinction because the sleeves are ribbed. The bottom area, the waist area, is ribbed as well, but not a tight rib. It's not going to be like sucking on you. So this is supposed to fit kind of loose, kind of flattering. It is made in Italy. It has that kind of relaxed Italian fit. And it also has a lot of function. The movement in this, you're not constricted at all. I don't feel tight in the chest. This gives. And that is important. And we're going to pause for a moment because these things do stretch. People who have already purchased these after a couple wears, they do stretch a little bit. They're not going to stretch a lot. It's not going to be falling off of you, but it can go up a quarter to maybe even half a size. So my small, which this is the first time wearing it, might get even a little bit bigger. Now, washing and things like that, linen tends to go, you know, kind of come down a little bit. So this will work with you. Trust me. Just think about it. This is a size small. It fits me correctly. One thing I will mention is when Madeline wears it, you can see a lot of details. Now, hers fits like a nightdress. Of course it does, right? It's supposed to fit her like a nightdress. And the arms on her look absolutely huge. And there's a reason for that. And this is the only difference I can see when I compared, surprise, <laughs> a screen accurate version of this with this version. The only difference 
that I'm seeing is not in the neckline, it's not in the shoulder line at all, it's not in the bottom ribbed line, it's in the sleeves. Now this is pretty important for those of you who, who think about these types of things. So this is actually made from a Henley that was from the same exact season that Sidorot used hers in the movie. In other words, there's no differences between what you see on screen and this one right here. And it's a size small and it fits me perfectly. However, I did the sleeves. I had Steve the tailor do the sleeves like they did in the film, which is not ribbed, but actually hemmed. You can see that there's a hemming that goes on there. It fits the bicep a little bit wider. The ribbed version, as you can see right here, has a little bit of stretch and pull. So it's going to hug your bicep just a little bit more. This is going to be a little bit more relaxed. So matter of fact, let me show you, let me actually try this on. Okay, so now I'm actually wearing the small, it's still a small, the small screen accurate one that I received many, many, many months ago. Um, and you can see the difference on the sleeve of the hemmed versus the rib sleeve, all right? So you've got a, quite a bit more room here, um, but this is, this is what it looked like in the film. And again, this is what I mean by it's going to stretch. So I've worn this a couple times and you can see that I've got room here. This is a small, the linen will give. Look at all the room that I have in this screen accurate one. So now it's even a little bit more straight. It's not as, you know, kind of curved down to my body. You can see the way it fits, but it still has this nice flowing type of look. It's still got all the parts and pieces. It just doesn't have the ribbing that the other one has. I'm going to go out on a limb here. Totally unexpected statement. Although this may be more screen accurate, um, I actually like the rib version better. I like something that fits a little bit tighter on my bicep. It looks a little bit more finished to me than, than something like this. So it's a preference thing. I'm, I'm kind of digging the other one, but that's, that's just me. Okay, so that gives you just a bit of view of what the screen accurate versus this one right here. It's a very minor difference. And the reality is for those people that have been craving to put this whole look together and quite, well, just let's have it out. This is not always, or maybe even ever going to be worn head to toe. That would be more like cosplay and that's fine. I mean, it's a cool outfit. There's nothing wrong with that, but you're going to pair this with other things. You're going to pair it with jeans. You're going to pair it with chinos. You might actually even put a blazer or a sports jack over the Henley. You may wear it with shorts. It'd be perfect with a pair of uh, like navy shorts. Oh, nice. So this has got to be your own. Do I think this shirt is worth the price, the investment, the time to get it? Absolutely. Look, two fifteen pounds for a luxury brand linen shirt that is 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 handcrafted, uh, quite frankly, and the way it fits feels is absolutely worth the price of admission. Now, boink, add that to the fact that it's this connection to No Time to Die. Pair yourself a uh, a Connolly jacket with it as well, and uh, and Bob's your uncle. You've got kind of the the whole thing going on. So my hat's off to Anderson and Shepard, first of all, because let's, let's play the reality game here. No brand out there that's associated with Bond uh, needs to do this. There's no mandate. There's no contract that says, hey, if you appeared in the movie, you've got to make this available to Bond fans. There is no rules of engagement here. They did that though, which my hat's off to them for doing that and allowing us to be able to connect with this. Um, don't believe it's limited edition, which is good. So uh, there's the link below. I want to thank Anderson and Shepard for allowing us to review this, connect on this, uh, for hosting me when I was in London at their shop, at their place, giving me the time to do this as well. All right. I think that, that, that yeah, no, yeah, I think I covered everything. It's amazing. 
We're getting good at this after like 15 years. Who knew? Anyway, this has been David Zaritsky for The Bond Experience, and we'll see you all real soon. Take care. Thanks for watching this episode. If you want to be up on the latest from The Bond Experience, just click on this subscribe and subscribe to our channel. You're going to get all the latest and greatest information, plus some exclusive content. And by the way, speaking of content, here's something especially for you, just because we know you. Talk to you soon.